This video is going to be all about short. I am short, this video is going to be short, and what is certainly going to be short is the exam notation that we're about to see. Because in the exam reinforms grid, you can now have a shorter syntax for your column and your row definitions, and that's what we're going to see in this video, so stay tuned. So here we see running a very simple Xamarin Forms application. Um, on the left, you can see it running on iOS right now. Uh, this is just the file new app template, basically. Um, I've made a little bit of an adjustment here. Um, I've added a grid here, which is not typically here. Um, but, you know, this video, video is about grids, so I needed one. Um, and this grid has a couple of row definitions. There are three. Uh, one has a height of 50, one for 100, and one of star. Uh, you can also do this auto, of course. You can put in um, any value that you want here. Um, and we have two columns down here. Uh, one of them is 150 wide, and the other one is uh, star again. So um, if you see how that translates on the screen here, we have this uh, top row here, which has a um, column span of two, as you can see right here. And then we have the um, column zero, row one, and column one, row one, so that are the two labels here. Um, actually, this third row isn't used, but you know, just for the sake of this example, um, let's see if we can get everything to work uh, just the way we want it in this new short syntax. Now, all of this is in this main page.xaml in our um, shared project here, because that's the way Xamarin Forms applications work. Uh, we want to have everything in this shared uh, project right here and in our XAML pages, because that means we are reusing, um, yeah, the most of our code basically but let's get this out of the way to make this a little bit more readable. Um, so the thing that is implemented now in uh, the new Xamarin version 4.7, um, you can remove these 10 lines of uh, XAML right here and write that much, much shorter. So if we go here and add this as an attribute, it's just called row definitions, um, just the way that you're used to. But now you can simply say 50, 400 and star. So you have to note that um, you will have to comma separate them. You can't separate them by just a space or anything else. Um, I don't think you actually need the spaces here. It will just see that it's comma separated. And then you can remove the values here because we don't need them anymore. And the same goes for the um, column definition. So we can say 150 and star and we can remove these one too. So um, um, yeah, that saves us a lot of XAML. And we've rewritten those uh, 10 lines, I think it was, um, in, in just this one line here. Um, so if I save this, then hot reload will kick in and reload. And you will see absolutely no change. Um, which is good in this case because which is good in this case because that means that the values are still applied the same way um, and everything works as before. Just boom, that's crazy, right? That is so short. You can get rid of all that excessive XAML you don't need anymore, throw it out, just Never look at it again, um, convert all of it, and your example will be much, much more readable. I think this syntax is so crazy and short, even my hair grew shorter during this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, tickle that bell so you will be notified whenever my next video is ready, um, and I hope you will see me then.